All right, Nolsey here. Lucky last. He saved the best for last. Daniel Summerhill has joined us from Team USA. Welcome to Perth and the Community Sports Show, Dan. Thank you very much for having me. Appreciate it. No worries. Now, for all the viewers out there, first of all, would you like to introduce yourself and let people know who you are and where you're from? Um, my name is Danny Summerhill. I am born and raised in Denver, Colorado, obviously USA. Um, I have been cycling since I was probably about five years old. Uh, fun fact, when I got into cycling, it was because my parents brought my little sister home from the hospital and got me a bicycle as a consolation prize. So they said, we gotta take care of your little sister now and now you gotta get out of our hair. So <laughs> I got on, onto a bike at a young age and um, I did several sports growing up, but I've always just gravita gravitated towards two wheels, whether it has a motor or not. Yeah. And bike racing has just been in. So you tried a few different sports. What yeah. have you tried? Um, I grew up playing ice hockey. Yes. And then also in the mountains in Colorado, snowboarding. Um, play lacrosse in the states. I don't know how big that is in Australia, but I'm pleased to say that that's one of the sports community sports show do actually oh, cover yeah. both outdoor and indoor okay. lacrosse. Yeah. Cool. So. Um, and then dabbled, but just as little kid stuff in soccer, football, and then. Um, no, it's soccer. Even okay. here, it's soccer. Good, good. You've got your NFL. That's yeah, football for yeah, you. Yeah. Aussie rules here. Yeah. Uh, would have loved to to learn rugby as a kid. Maybe that would have been a, another another pathway for me. But um, I'm happy I chose cycling. All right. So you said you started at five. So you've been going for about 15 years oh, now. Don't, don't give or even, take. Don't, yeah, probably probably take. <laughs> um, yeah, turn. Birthdays uh, in a couple days. So Happy birthday from thank, us all. Thank you. So it's going to be many years. More than 15. Yeah, more than 15. I didn't want to say it, but look, one of the things that we've been talking to everyone about is how you got involved and the opportunities. Have you been involved with Team USA for a while now? Um, I would say that I have. I uh, got involved with the US national team at a, at a junior level, but for cycle cross and road racing. Hang on, cycle cross? That's right, yeah. What is that? Uh, so, cycle cross is actually... The cross on bicycles? Essentially, yeah. It's a, it's a mix between road biking and mountain biking, essentially. Oh, okay. Um, it takes, it's a very unique sport, most commonly known in Europe and colder, colder European countries because it's a wintertime sport, so it takes place usually in mud. Um, half of the race is on road, half the race is off road. Ah, so um, like motocross. Essentially, uh, or, or to get more specific, supermoto. Yep. Um, or no, yeah, supermoto racing where it's a hybrid, um, uh, some jumps and some track riding, so. Um, yeah, so that that was the discipline that I did for many, many, many years, and then at the always racing the road as well, and then just recently in the last two years got into track racing, which I love. So I would say track is probably one of the most. Um, one of those chains doesn't sound too good. <laughs> um, track racing is is definitely one of the most adrenaline-filled, just fun events that I think I've ever done. Um, if you look around here, I think we're, this is called the Speed Dome. Yep, it is. Um, this is just an incredible place because if you were a beginner coming here and just wanted to have a thrill, you come around, you look at these these banks, if you get a chance to look at, um, do a panoramic shot here, and these banks are at like 35 or 40 degrees. Yeah. And you come into these at 30 kilometers an hour and it just feels like you're in a fighter jet just getting force through the turns and it's just an incredible feeling so I would I would strongly recommend giving it a go obviously I think what I'm understanding of this this channel to be about is just exploring new sports and I would say track cycling for sure would be one that that might not be com like well known but it's definitely um, a lot of fun well we broadcast the meet here on yeah. Friday night and we've covered a few of the riders here from WA before WA or Track Cycling WA does actually have higher bikes. So for anyone who is interested in giving it a go, yeah. come down any training Absolutely. night, talk to Chris, 
or the guys down here. Yeah. And I've seen world races here uh, about 10, 15 years ago, give or take as well. A bit, I'm fluid with my numbers. <laughs> but it's scary, but adrenaline. I would, exactly. And once you pick it up, it's, it's, one of the, it's a very, very, very fun sport because you can watch within whether give it 20 minutes or 30 minutes, an hour, and you can watch the progression level of going from, holy shit, excuse my language. That's okay. Like, this is this is crazy. I can't believe what I'm doing. To oh my gosh, I'm really getting the hang of it. And then just hooking around this track and getting faster and faster. And like I said, feeling the G-force when you go through the turns. It's a pretty phenomenal feeling. And having been on a bike for so many years and raced motorcycles as well, I know what pretty crazy feelings feel like. But there's nothing compared to ripping around a track like this at 60, at 60 or 70 kilometers an hour and just having your stomach practically feel like it's hitting the floor. You know, I mean, that's a pretty wild, wild feeling. It's like a roller coaster, really. And it definitely looks like it. Yeah. So for all those out there, what tips would you give them if they want to get involved apart from just get along? Did you just turn up and have a go? Sure. I, I mean, I would say that this, every track is different, but um, surely the website for Speed Dome would have, to, would have all the... Um, information you need, but, but hang on, we'll just let the WA boys go around. They're, they're training as well. Um, yeah, just I mean, it's it, it's such a great community too. Track cycling specifically is, is a really family sort of oriented atmosphere. Uh, I've raced professionally on the road for years and years and years, but nothing has come close to what track racing is. So I mean, you meet anyone, and they like, and everyone's so helpful and just wants to help expand this sport you know so um i would say pop in one day ask ask some questions and see when um the uh the beginner riding nights or days are yep. and come give it a go and they will pull you up i know for all the viewers out there there's different colored lines and you depending on how skilled you are you're allowed on certain lines come down check oh there's always one Come down, check out the black line first before you go red, then blue, and then it's just way up above it from there. Opportunity for you, um, before we go, Dan, I didn't ask. We know that Ashton's into the pursuit. Do you have a particular preference in terms of disciplines on the track? Nope, this is it, team pursuit only. I, I don't even have a bike that, um, like the, the one with the normal handlebars, I don't even have one of those. I just have the aero bars, so it's... Um, I like it because it's 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 definitely the fastest race that you can do this team pursuit stuff. Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously sprinters they go around real fast, but in general, when you're out there on our um, pursuit bikes and you're kind of like Superman in those positions, and yes, just ripping around the track, it's it's pretty fun. So. And we got. I was lucky to get some footage of you in the warm up before. Well, it wasn't a warm up, but going round before you came off. 50, 60 k's is pretty crazy speeds. Yeah, it's, it's fun. That's, that's all I can say is it is a good time. All right, now, you got any messages for friends, family, fans back home um, in the States? I was just going to say thank you, Perth and Speed Dome, for having us, and, of course, Waze for donating riders and coaches to help Team USA. <laughs> yeah, hopefully the Waze riders will be your future opposition. Oh, I'm sure they will be. I have absolutely no doubt. <laughs> All right, Dan, thanks very much for your time. All the best for the rest of your trip, and may you have safe travels. Thank you very much.